the stuff that I've gotten the last week or two. I had a birthday, so I didn't do a video last week because I ended up not having enough time, but I did go thrifting. So I'm going to show you guys sort of collectively what I got. Also, shout out to my mom. She bought me a mannequin for my birthday, so super excited about that. So, all right, I'm just going to dive into it. I think I'm going to start with my accessories and shoes today. I have to start this beautiful scarf. It's like velvet. It's, uh, it's velvet and silk. Uh, it says it's 25% silk. It is so gorgeous. It's this beautiful dark red shade and it has like these sort of like laser cutout details and then the bottom has tassels. This is just so pretty. It doesn't even do it justice on camera. Very bohemian. Would look really great like draped over your shoulders as a cover up. I almost, I wish it was a kimono because it would look beautiful as a kimono. But I picked that up. Then I picked up these shoes. These are by a brand called Naturalizer and they are just a brown um, slide sandal and they have a pretty cushioned sole and they're leather. I have a tiny bit of a heel. These ones are a size seven and a half. Next, I grabbed these. These are by Hippie Laundry. They are a lace front block heel. They have a little bit of like scuffing. I probably can't even see it. There's like a tiny bit of like a scuff there. But other than that, these don't look like they've ever been worn. They're six and a half. And they are a gold sort of brown shade. Really, really cute. Next, I have this cool belt. This is a vintage Abercrombie & Fitch belt. It is a size medium large. It's real leather. It's very chunky. Excuse that noise. I live near the street. Uh, it's very chunky and it has this sort of like leather wrap at the front so it would sort of fold over like that. And then the back is all embroidered. Very, very cool. It's like sort of like a gold bronzy shade. Uh, really awesome find. Then I found some Sam Edelman sandals. These are just your plain brown sandal. They are a size nine, I think. Nine and a half, and they are leather as well. Sam Edelman makes really nice shoes. These are very boho as well, great for summertime. Then I have one more accessory. I have this brown hat, which I thought was really cute. I'm a sucker for hats, so I keep picking them up. It's by a brand called Arlen, I think. Arlen. And it says it's 100% wool and it's made in the U.S., but it doesn't give a size, but I would guess it's a medium, judging by just how it feels and looks, I would guess medium. All right, and I'm going to move right into my rack because I have quite a few today. So I'm going to start with this bathing suit that I found. This is new with tags. It's by, it's by Ann Cole Signature, and I think it is, it's a size 8. And literally, it's brand new with tags. This retail for $98, which is crazy. But it's a beautiful one piece. It's really nice quality. And it has a beautiful um, floral print. And then it has the built-in removable cups, which is nice. Really, really good find. I was so happy to find that. But I have some shorts. I'm going to start with these ones. These are Express. These are just a dark wash, slightly distressed short. These are a size zero. And they are stretchy, which is really nice. And then the back just looks like that. They're sort of uh, a little bit shorter. They aren't as high-waisted as some of the newer styles, but I picked them up anyway because Express makes really nice clothes. So I grabbed those. Then I have a couple of pairs of refugee shorts. I found these all at once. They must have belonged to the same person. They're all a size zero, but they're really, really cute. So I found this pair. This is a high-waisted distressed pair. And that's what the back looks like. Really cute, very stretchy, um, really good quality. It looks like these weren't even worn. I think that the person had bought a bunch of them maybe online or something and then donated them because like, maybe they didn't fit. But I have another pair. This is slightly light, uh, lighter wash. These are also distressed. These are really adorable. They are cuffed at the bottom and I really wish that these were all in my size, but sadly they're not because I would totally wear them. Alright. Then I have this pair as well. This is also by that same brand, uh, the Refugee brand. This pair is stretchy too. These ones are really distressed. Like the whole bottom of the hem is like, like ripped. Like really, really distressed. 
intentionally. So these ones are really, really great for like that boho, sort of boho rocker look, which as you can tell, that's sort of my aesthetic. <laughs> but that's a good thing. I think that you guys should be, if you want to have like a successful closet, I think it's important to sort of shop things that you like because then it shows, it reflects well in your actual closet. Everything sort of is more cohesive that way. I do pick up a few things here and there that are less casual because they're really nice pieces, but I think overall um, it's better when your whole, sort of your whole closet matches. So next I have this pair of American Eagle jeans. These are also a zero. They are the super high rise jegging. These are super distressed as well. And they have three buttons at the top, which I've never seen. So I grabbed these and then they actually have a little bit more detail at the bottom even. They have like little slits and they I think are ankle grazers. And here's the back. Nice light wash. Very trendy for spring and summer. Then I have this pair of mom jeans by Empire, which is sold at Zoomies. These are like legitimate denim. They don't have very much stretch at all. They're called the Eileen mom jeans. And these are also a size zero. I guess I picked up somebody's like whole size zero wardrobe, but these are like a nice sort of vintage wash and they're straight legged. And that's what the back looks like. Again, like really trendy for the season. If you like cuff the bottoms, they look really good with sandals. In the winter time, they look really good with boots. Then I have another pair of American Eagle jeans. These ones are also a style that I haven't heard of. They're the skinny kick style. These ones are a bigger size. They're the six short and they are also distressed. And then the, the kick style, they're like slightly flared, but they don't go all the way down your leg. They kind of are sort of a cropped flare, which is really cute. And then that's what the back looks like. These are nice and stretchy. So were the other American Eagle jeans. American Eagle makes really nice jeans and they're almost always made from a stretchy fabric. They're really flattering on and very comfortable and they're good quality. Next, I have a free people skirt. This skirt is a size six. And I'm gonna leave it on the hanger because I think it's like easier to see that way. It has um, a front zip here and then it's like brocade almost. It has a beautiful floral metallic print. And then that's what the back looks like. That was a really good find. Next, I have a couple pairs of overalls. I actually found more than one pair this week, which is crazy. This is another one by the brand Refugee. Uh, and they are a size small. And these are a light wash and they're distressed, which is really, really good. Uh, distressed stuff really does well for me, so I keep trying to pick it up. Next, I have a pair of Torrid New With Tags um, overalls. And these ones retail for $70. They're a size 14, which is a really good size. They have some slight distressing as well. They are a really light, sort of almost acid wash. And that's what the back looks like. Um, really, really great find. I was super excited to find those. Next, I have another new with tags item. This is an Old Navy top. It doesn't have the price on it. I think it was ordered online, but I picked it up anyway. It's a size medium and it's really nice lightweight cotton. And it's a really pretty like peachy pink color and it has a pretty floral on it. I thought that would be really good for somebody for summertime. Then I have another peachy sort of pink top. This one is a brand I don't know, but it looks expensive and I'm gonna look it up to see. It's called uh, Carolina Belle and it says Montreal underneath. It's a size small and it's very like, very uh, Victorian sort of inspired bohemian. It has really long, big sleeves and then it has the frills up at the top and the frills across the chest. And then the back has a keyhole detail. Really nice and lightweight, very sheer, but would look really pretty with like a bralette underneath. Next I have this top. This is by a brand I don't know either. It's called Cotton Candy LA. It's a size um, small. I don't know what it's made out of. It feels like it's like linen or something. It's 100% cotton. So it's a really cute little eyelet crop top and it has buttons down the, it looks crooked on the hanger. <laughs> it has buttons on the front and then it's very like frilly and it has eyelets. Um, very, very trendy summer piece for the season. And then it's off the shoulder, which is really cute. Then I have another one by this brand that I'm probably gonna like butcher the name. It's called 
Monteu, Monteu, Monteu? Either way, it's a size small and it's just a lace high neck cami and then it has scalloped detail at the back and it's laced on both sides, which is really pretty. Another really good, like nice summer top or easy. Then I have this top. This is by a brand called Curation Emerson Fry. And it, I think it's probably very expensive. This has the tag on it as well. It has like a little thing describing it. It says printed, made by hand in support of constitution of traditional artisans. And this is created in India, which is really cool. And then it says created with care, treat with cold water, uh, gentle, and then line dry. It's an extra small and it's beautiful. This is like absolutely beautiful. I just noticed it has a little discoloring on the little string, but I'm gonna just disclose that because I think it's gorgeous. It, it's very, very, um, very textured. It has like an eyelet sort of texture to it. And then it has the drawstrings. It's like that peasant style, very 70s, very bohemian. And then that has little tassels on it. This is just to die for, it's gorgeous. And it has really big billowy sleeves as well. We look really, really pretty on. Then I have another new attacks item. This is Free People. I got really lucky. Uh, the week of my birthday, I found all kinds of really great stuff. This one was originally $98 and it is really pretty. It's a uh, size medium. And then it's sort of like, a, almost like a wrap style top. It I don't know if you can tell detail wise because of the pattern, but it's really, really pretty. And it has really nice long sleeves. It's cropped. I, I wish that this looked better on the hanger than it does. It looks really gorgeous on. And it's very, like, it's a very V cut. I would, this would look so pretty with like a statement, like collection of necklaces. It would look so good on. Um, anyway, so I found that. Next, I found this Lucky Brand shirt. This is a size small. It's one of their like vintage looking ones. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There we go. But this one says red, uh, let's see, red comb corn whiskey. And it has this like cool graphic with a rooster on it. I thought this was really, really cool find. These are hard to find. People really like these. So I always try to pick them up when I find them. Next, I have some more graphic tees and just kind of kind of go through them. This one's by Life Clothing uh, Company, and it's a size small, and it says Let Love Rule, and it's yellow. It's very, very 60s, 70s inspired. It has that sort of like flower child style to it. Then I have another t-shirt. This one's cropped. This is by Recycle Karma, which I didn't even notice when I picked it up, and it's a size medium, and it's a dare shirt which is really cool. That's like a vintage thing too. Very like 70s. Here's another one of those Lucky Brand tops. This one is a medium and this one's really cool. It has like this old school um, sugar skull guy on it. And it says, what does it say? One arm bandito, <laughs> really cool. It has a couple of like little spots towards the bottom, but I'm just gonna disclose that because I think that this will sell still. And that's what the back looks like. It says something about a casino, Bandito Casino. <laughs> really cool. Next I have this Muhammad Ali t-shirt. This is a size medium and it just has that like famous fight scene on it. This is really nice um, weight cotton. I have another band tee. This is an old one. This is from the 90s. This is a Lee t-shirt. So like the, the Lee Jeans brand, and it's a size large, and it's REM, and it says 1992 on it. That's what it looks like. And then the back has all kinds of like song names on it. It does have a little bit of pilling towards the bottom, but I'm, again, just gonna disclose that because this is really cool. I have one more band tee, and this one's a classic. This is a Led Zeppelin tee. This is a really oversized tee. It has a little bit of discolor under the arms, but I'm, I, I think it'll still sell. So it's just your basic flying guy t-shirt. I can never remember what he's called. He has a name, but obviously I like Let's Open. But uh, I almost kept this for myself, but it, it's a little bit too big for me. So I, it does, the tag is sort of worn off, but I would place this probably like a large, extra large. And again, it's that like baseball style tee, which is really popular. Next I have some dresses. I have a free people dress. This new with tags to start. It's a size small. This is beautiful. This is a gorgeous swing style velvet dress and it has sequins 
all across the front and then it has some across the back as well and it's sort of that mini style it's really really cute originally this was 128 dollars and it does come with little replacement sequins which i think is really nice wow i'm like all blown out here um and then i have this dress this is by a brand called maple i don't know where you can buy that um i don't know if it's a vintage brand or what but it's a size four and it's a beautiful fully lined dress it's more of a midi length. It has gorgeous blue flowers all over it. This was actually in my closet for a while, but I have decided to um, not keep it because I don't wear it enough and someone deserves to wear it. It has a beautiful cage back detail. It's so flattering on. It's so pretty. Then I have this dress. This is by a brand called Tinseltown. I think they saw it at like Macy's and stuff, but I picked it up because it was really cute. It's a size large. It's off the shoulder and it's like a chambray material and it has this little like ditzy floral down the whole sides of it. Um, and it's it's very like like vintage sort of prairie style, which is really popular right now. Again, it's really 70s. <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat's being weird. But anyway, I thought that was worth picking up. Then I have a shirt dress. This is by another brand that I always have a hard time pronouncing. Uh, Japana or Japana. It doesn't have like another A, so it's like technically Japana, I think, but it's a size small anyway. And this is a cotton and rayon blend. This is a beautiful shirt dress. It's so pretty. It's got this like muted tone stripe to it, and then it gathers in the center, so it's really flattering. And then it has pockets, and the back is slightly longer. So again, it's like super duper flattering on. This is a really good find. I almost kept this one. <laughs> excuse me I have a couple more things they're both the same I found them at the same time which is crazy I think they're different sizes though these are both Lululemon um, running jackets I think that's what you call them running jackets I have to look up the actual name of them but they're just your basic zip up um, running style jacket and then they have the Lululemon on the back this one was a black one and then I found this blue one, which this one I might keep because it's really, really cute. And this one is like a slightly different style, I think. The Lululemon is down here on this one. I don't know if you can see it. But it's a really, really, really cute blue shade. It's like very turquoise. And then it has like the little like armholes too. Again, I wish I could, I tried to find the size tag on them, like the little one that is usually hiding in the pocket but these pockets are like mesh inside, so I couldn't find it. So I'll have to do a little bit of research to see, but those are really good finds. Those are really good sellers. And I think that concludes my haul for today. I have some home decor stuff, but I have been sort of picking that up, but I think I'm gonna do that in a separate haul so that you guys have that separate in case you don't care about the home decor. <laughs> so, but all right. So thank you guys so much for uh, coming back to my channel and watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you liked it and subscribe. I love it if you share with your friends. I'm trying really hard to get like a good following and get some more subscribers. So um, if you liked it, that helps me out. Um, if you have any suggestions or anything, feel free to comment. Uh, and thank you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.